Oh, I had the drain plug out. No wonder. <laughs> I'm a freaking moron. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. I got the Miss Geico 17 on the block. All right. Uh, I actually just did a, a brushless conversion on this boat. I got a 30 amp Dynamite ESC and an X Team 2440. Uh, I, I pulled my servo and receiver so I can get to my rudder. I'm actually going to take this rudder blade this rudder bracket off okay I want more room for prop choices you can see I've actually uh, kind of uh, grinded out some of the plastic here so I can get more room for prop okay the way I have my stuffing tube set up I have it kind of high kind of high but um the boat actually runs really good so I'm gonna uh, change that rudder blade out rudder bracket out for this offshore electrics micro rudder with an extended bracket okay i was thinking about using this micro rudder all right this micro rudder for an offset rudder okay but i don't think this rudder bracket's long enough the, well the rudder blade i should say i actually think these two blades are interchangeable with the brackets but i think i'm going to go with a center mounted rudder it'll kind of keep the boat like a scale look it'll give me more room for propeller choices all right you guys see that I have more room. I should be able to put like a 32 millimeter, 34 millimeter prop on this boat. And uh, it's actually a little bit longer than the stock bracket. So uh, I think it's going to be a great upgrade. All right. So let's uh, let's get to it. Let's get to it. These rudders, they're not going to go to waste. They're actually pretty nifty little, little, little rudder brackets, you know. Uh, They'll work on other little small projects, you know, if you're converting a little toy boat to RC, these, you know, if you're taking off an MG-17 rudder, it'll actually come in handy for other projects. So I'm going to keep those around, you know. Um, I actually already filled up my holes with some water weld, JB water weld. Alright, I filled the holes up here. And all I have to do is drill two holes in here for this little rudder. Uh, the rudder has, uh, they're threaded. Okay, so you actually screw the screw in to the rudder bracket. Okay, uh, the hardest part about this whole deal is going to be getting in there and, and installing the screws into the rudder bracket. That's going to be the hardest part. I used every damn, every tool in my toolbox just about to try to get this thing on there so i got it on okay we need to uh put the blade on there and everything probably going to switch out this steering linkage it's a little it's a little flimsy that may be why the boat's wanting to to veer because of its, the the flimsy steering linkage um it's not rigid and it's like allowing the rudder blade to kind of uh, flail about you know it has speed this boat's not built for speed it's built for a brush motor you know the bottom's not really ideal you know it's got a curve in it and stuff so i think it's gonna look perfect i think it's gonna work perfect you guys i really do it looks good check it out oh that looks cool that looks cool okay we're gonna Put our rudder on the bracket there okay put our our arm on the right hand side here to meet up with our linkage then you install your pin make sure the pin the flat spot is on the left side opposite side of the arm here okay okay i know i'm on my flat spot tighten that bad boy down all right good to go all right let's pull this steering rod it's real flimsy you see that okay i'm going to use this 0.032 music wire it's a little stiffer than the stock wire let's go ahead and put us a z-bend on one side <clears throat> i use a z-bend i just take my flat needle nose here One bend one way, like so. All right. Let's 
music wire is a little stiffer than the stock wire so it should be all right so this little easy connector i got right here it's a little small for this rudder arm you see that it's got a lot of play so i've actually got a bunch of these uh servo they're like servo shims or you get them with servos you see i got a bunch of them you get them with those little plastic uh grommets for your servo to kind of mount up your servo with and i save them I, you know i use them for odd and end things i don't even use them on my servo but what i'm gonna do is i'm actually i got one that fits here perfect oh, let's see if this easy connector fits in it let's see if that shims it up a little bit anyway all right, so it's a little bit tighter in there. You see that? A little bit tighter, not as much play. So I'm actually gonna um, grind some of this off the other side of it, you know, make it a little more low profile. Make sure you use Loctite, all right? Cause this thing's gonna be, you know, turning back and forth with the rudder. Okay, uh, that little brass servo shim actually worked pretty good. I got it grinded down to size, kind of closed up the extra movement a little bit. Um, I could have just put a new new connector on, but I don't have any small connectors. I got these big ones, you know, and they're actually going to be too big. I've actually got, well, I do have another one on my other micro rudder ah, I'll, I'll use this um with these with these uh small boats you know any like extra play that you have in your steering you're gonna tell it you know with these smaller boats uh especially the smaller boats so make sure you kind of got like a tight steering setup um let's see how this does with without the capillary tube because i I really wanted to put the capillary tube on, but this music wire is actually a little stiffer than the stock stainless steel wire. So let's see how this kind of does um, without the capillary tube because there is a pretty, a fairly decent bend, a bow in the steering. So let's check this out. Okay, so I'm going to cut it a little bit long right there because I am freaking human. This music wire is good stuff to have around it. I use it for all kind of stuff. Put my servo, my servo block back on. All right, I'm gonna get a battery in it and we'll we'll kind of listen to it, watch it, see how it does. Boom, done, huh? Done, D-U-N, done. That looks good, man. It looks perfect. It looks like it's meant for this boat. It really does. Um. Let's check it out. I got an 850 milliamp Spectrum G2 in the boat. All right, I could put a 1300 milliamp G2 in this thing if I want to. Uh, all right, so that's like partial rate. I'm gonna turn the rate all the way up. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. All right, with this boat or any RC boat, you really don't need a full rate, full steering rate. It'll turn the boat too hard, you know? Oh, that's perfect, man. That's going to give us plenty of room to put a larger prop on. I've got an Aquacraft 32 here, 32 millimeter. I've got a 27 millimeter on the boat right now. So that's what it looks like with a 32 millimeter prop on. So we got enough room for that. We could possibly put a damn 38 millimeter prop on the boat if we wanted to. That's going to be too big. But, um,. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's a lot better. That's, that's a lot. That's better. gonna be a good upgrade for this boat, you guys. Uh, let's take it out to the pool real quick. Let's run it in the pool. Let's kind of just do a couple little laps, little twelve foot above ground pool. Uh, just kind of mess around with it, see how it works. Then we'll take it to the pond in an upcoming video and uh, really see what it does. Damn, it's got a really good response. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, that's way better than the stock setup. So far, so far. I don't know about high speed. Oh. <laughs> oh, there goes my hatch. Oh, damn, did I put a hole in the pool? No. Oh, there goes the boat. <laughs> Jeez. All right, let me quit playing around before I mess something up. Let's go dry this thing out. Jeez. 
Oh, man. Oh, I had the drain plug out. No wonder. <laughs> I'm a freaking moron. Oh, man. All right. So, <laughs> I put a, I put a, a, a tube in my my drain plug i couldn't find my drain plug i don't know where i put it at so i put a tube in there just a quick fix put a tube in it and then put a screw in the tube all right and that'll kind of seal up a hole in your boat on the fly you know what i'm saying kind of on the fly fix there all right let's give it, give it a rip put the top on probably should tape it on So my rate, my rate's like uh, half. Man, that's turning way better. Oh, that's perfect, you guys. This is going, that's a perfect upgrade for this boat. It's a perfect upgrade for this boat. Let's turn the rate all the way up. Just curious here. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Oh, it's got a good left turn too. Damn, it's got a tighter left turn than a right turn. It works a lot better when you plug the drain hole up. <laughs> Hey guys yeah she uh she actually performed really well in the boat in the pool man i was surprised i was really surprised at how like uh how how well the boat was turning with this rudder on it man i was scared it was wasn't gonna perform like i expected it to you know uh so i think it's gonna be a good upgrade we're gonna run the boat in the next few videos you know try to get it out in the next couple videos it's been raining here on and off so i don't know when i'll get out and run a boat but uh, I'll have a link in the description for the extended rudder. I'll also have a link in the description for the MG-17. It's a freaking cool little pool boat for younger, you know, teens, you know, uh, something to kick around with in the pool in the summertime with the brushed electronics. If you want to go big boy style, you know, ironclad style, put your brushless motor, brushless ESC in a boat, freaking, you know, balls to the wall. It's a good boat for that too. I proved it. We proved it, boys. Uh, I think it's a good upgrade. I think it's help, like it's gonna freaking handle good at high speed. I, I hope, I hope, I hope. So uh, I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna quit dragging my freaking jaws. If you guys use the links in the description, it does help the channel out. It helps the channel grow. So uh, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go. Build your boat ironclad. Build it the way you want to build it. Have fun building your boats. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Big B with Ironclad RC. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good, good. <laughs>